We're gonna go ahead and take out the kayak and we're gonna test out something super freaking cool. The wall. Oh. This one's huge. Look at how good this oh. I've got a really awesome video for y'all. I'm gonna unbox a really freaking awesome product I want to try a long, long time. These bugs would be quiet for the video. The Go Fish Cam, guys. This thing is amazing. You literally cast it out on your fishing line, Go Fish Cam, and it will capture your actual bites on camera, which is so sick. Never had anything like that before. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what we got in here. All right, so. The camera itself is super light, guys. It's a just a little torpedo type thing. Fish might even go for the camera itself, which would be so sick to see him try to eat the camera. It's supposed to tie a line, your main line to here, which would be a heavy braid or something, because I do not want to lose that camera. And you're gonna tie your leader, which is gonna be a lot lighter line right here. Probably like 10, 15 pound test. And it also comes with this float and it says here on the front it's supposed to be like a bobber which is so sick because definitely want to use that for live baiting and shiners and stuff like that i'm going to show you guys two different ways you can rig this up and i'm going to try two different ways and hopefully we can get some bites and some really sick footage because i've never gotten to try something this cool before so i pull them around there then you're just going to tie a light leader and i'm going to have a live bait hook i'm going to try bottom fishing and fishing with the float. I probably put less than a foot, a little bit less than a foot of leader because I want the fish to come right up to the camera. When you are ready to fish, you're just gonna unscrew this. Make sure it's not wet once you unscrew this because I'm pretty sure that it's not waterproof. You take this cap off. You switch this to the left or right to turn it on. Right, now it's on see the blinking light and you press the red record button right here to start recording and also switch it back here to the other side we've got our night vision you're gonna be fishing at night today we're definitely gonna be using that night vision so let's see how it works Got our rig set up right here. Sweet. I'm using my flipping stick setup. I'll have a link in the description for that. I'll take out the yellow kayak here in a minute. I'm just waiting a little bit longer um, for the lights to go ahead and turn on. It usually takes like an hour or two or three for the fish to really start pulling up on the lights when it gets dark. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch some bait before we go out there and Hopefully it's good. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fish here a little bit, just when I'm waiting for those lights to go ahead and turn on. The light should be on by now since it is dark, but it does take, I would say it takes like an hour or so for fish to really start getting on there. But yeah, let's go ahead and cast this puppy out. Sick looking rig. I'm using a little floppy right now, actually. We got some shiners and bluegills in the bucket. Yeah, let's try right here from shore. Oh, it's heavy. It is a pretty heavy camera though. So like I said, guys, I am using my flipping stick. I would definitely recommend to use the flipping stick. stay here for about an hour after that bite that was a huge fish whatever it was i 
may not have even been a bass. Could have been a gar or something with teeth that cut the line that fast. But it was a big fish, so that 17 pound fluoro broke really easily. Go ahead and take out the yellow kayak all the way to the other side of the lake. And hopefully we can get some monsters on those lights because usually there's a ton of big fish on them. So fingers crossed. All the way to the other lake and find those green lights the biggest one in there should get us a big fish there are 10 pound plus fish in here so we should be able to catch some monsters and we should be able to see what's down there with this camera cool thing about it is it got it has night vision also so even though we've got the lights to help us out you may not even need it. You got the night vision. Night vision. I'm actually gonna just leave this guy on the bottom, right on the edge of that light there. Got one. Got one. Got one. Got one to eat with the camera on. Wow. This guy is messed up looking fish though. Look. Somebody must have hooked him in the eye. He's just got freaking parasites in his eye and all kinds of stuff going on. But other than that, it's a beautiful fish. Nice two pounder. Two and a half. I hope that was recording on there, because that was sick. The fish was super skinny and it's missing an eye. It's weird. Oh, that was so cool. I didn't even need the camera to see that one. He came right up to me. It's about the same size as the other one, but still that was so cool. There's a crappy about to eat it too. Nice fish. Can't wait to see them eat that right in front of the camera. It was so sick. It's another nice two pounder. Super skinny fish too. They're all super skinny today. What is going on guys? Pretty much wraps up the rest of this video. I only got to fish at night, it's the next day. Remember I'll have a link in the description for everything below that I've been using this video. Um, the GoFish Cam as well. It's all affiliate links. The GoFish Cam is an affiliate link. So if you end up purchasing one of these, it actually helps me out with the channel. So if you do want to check them out, they're a pretty sweet product. Definitely want to do more videos with this soon. I'm actually going to probably try trolling or maybe more videos with just the bobber rig. Um, the night vision turned out great, but I'm also going to try it in the daytime because I'm sure you can get a lot more clear footage than that. Guys, this is a really big game changer. You can literally send it down to just see what is down in the bottom of your lake. Um, I didn't know, but Apparently the areas around the green lights are all sandy bottom, no grass. So that makes this thing a really cool tool for just trying to learn your water, trying to even see how the fish are hitting uh, 
see how the fish are hitting, see uh, how they're reacting to different baits, stuff like that. So I definitely am gonna do a ton of new videos with this. I also wanna try it in salt water. So stay tuned for that, guys. Until next time, tight lines, stay fishing, guys.